Hello audience, in this video I'll be discussing the effect of music from Graffiti Circuit's OST that is cohesive with the gameplay and sound effect, clear with its terrific roots yet can stand on its own. Spoiler warning for Graffiti Circuit, its music in particular, along with gameplay from the intro stage and not this beforehand at all the time. I will not be using any gameplay footage nor covering any music after having collected all the circuits. Gravity Circuit's OST consists of 45 tracks composed by Dominic Ninmark. You might have heard of him for his Eurobeat remixes, original soundtracks for other indie titles and his music can be purchased by his Bandcamp or Steam. He has also made music for the fan game Mega Man X Corrupt. As a result, it makes a lot of sense as to why the game's music fits the game. Gravity Circuit's original soundtrack uses light motifs quite effectively to highlight characters story-wise, aesthetics-wise, and gameplay-wise. There are several examples throughout, but I'll focus only on a few. Also, there is going to be a music icon in the bottom right that will indicate where there is a light motif and when there is not. When a light motif is playing, it will be in color. And when there is no light motif, it will be a solid color, as you see now. According to the Oxford Languages Dictionary definition, light motifs are recurrent themes throughout a musical or literary composition associated with a particular person, idea, or situation. Now I will show you the first and most prominent example. That light motif, it will become more prevalent later, and by later, I actually mean right now. Do you hear it? Well... Yes, there it is again, mixed with other melodic parts. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, it's also there. When you start the game in a new save file, there is an opening cinematic to start the story paired with music. The music of the intro stage also features the light motif throughout to identify you as the gravity set kind, as is clear with the drop and start. That 
that's great. Surely it can't be used again in a way that works. Oh. What about that? Just the right material, albeit a specific situation, which is great. Results by completing the interest. Kai's light motif isn't the only one reutilized in various scenarios. The eight rebel circuits each have their own light motifs used in their music for an introduction theme, stage theme, and their own melodic part that only plays when fighting them in their own stage. Here is the first example of that with cable. Now for the second example, with Crash.
This music helps to emphasize the designs and mannerisms of each boss in their stage. Kind of like Shuffle Might, how its bosses have their separate stage themes and their own boss themes. However, unlike Shuffle Knight and each having a separate boss game, instead they have separate light motifs that repeat only when you fight them in their stage, and all share a portion of the theme as they are all connected, which will always make sense. I am not going to elaborate on that, avoid spoilers, I still are. By the way, imagine instead of what you hear of the the stage being seen with the gameplay right now is instead this. All this. Yes, music is quite important in being synonymous with the sound effects of every circuit, and in any other game really. Another reason on how it is so effective, in my opinion. In conclusion, Dominic Ninma has created an original soundtrack that is effective in being unanimous with the gameplay and storytelling of every circuit. Like a cohesive multicolored sprinkle to a free legged cake. Delicious. That is the end of the video. If you made it this far, I'd appreciate it if you like and comment on this video. Feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more of what I will be uploading to this channel. Anyways, until the next video, bye bye.